but we are the first in the world to see it. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. What's up, Mabu High Squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? Okay, so this is a continuation from yesterday's vlog. Um, RJ and I are actually getting ready to go to a birthday party, but I wanted to show you this. Look, guys, look at the storm from the bedroom. Crazy, right? Oh, I have never watched a storm from our bedroom. Like, this is our bedroom, right? Pretty new, but have never been able to like sit and watch the rain from the window. Oh, it's so cool. <gasps> wow, it's somehow very calming. There's the acacia tree being blown around. I'm sure enjoying all of this water. Wow, unbelievable. That is great. Let's see, let's see. The corner, oh, I love this corner window. You can see so much. <gasps> wow, look at that rain, seriously. Oh, poor cat. <laughs> There's a little cat that just ran under that car. Oh, so majestic nature, right guys? Look all the way down there. Those trees are being blown around. Crazy. So for those of you who uh, might not know, it is rainy season here in the Philippines. So the trees completely wake up because during summer here, it's backwards, it's weird. During summer here, mo a lot of plants like enter almost a hibernation state um, called estivation because it's too hot and too dry and um, it doesn't rain as much. So to self-preserve, trees kind of shrivel up. They shed their leaves. It's almost like fall. It's really interesting. It's backwards, right? In Canada, it's kind of the opposite. Like in fall and, and winter when it's cold, the trees shed their leaves. Here it's the opposite. During the summer, trees are in self-preservation mode. Um, but during rainy season, which is now, Acacia trees just blossom. They flourish, sending out huge like branches of foliage, lots of blossoms. It's really, really awesome. The plants really come alive from now until, I don't know, like December or January. But yeah, it's awesome. It's like rainy season now. How cool. And you know, before I actually moved here to the Philippines, um, I remember seeing pictures of the Philippines, of my relatives um, and people who vacationed in the Philippines. And I always wondered why most of the time it looked like there was overcast. Like you would think that in a tropical country, it's, it's always sunny, you know, sun's out, plants out, just that's what you think a tropical country is like. But I, in a lot of pictures in the Philippines of like my family, my mom, for example, growing up, um, random pictures in the Philippines, I always saw lots of overcast and cloudiness, like not a lot of sun. And now I know it's because pretty much half of the year, um, it's rainy season. So for half of the year, a lot of times it's cloudy. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, it, it's really interesting. I love the weather here in the Philippines, guys. Obviously no snow. <laughs> Not even a little bit. Um, it gets cold in the mountains, like for example in Baguio, but certainly not as cold as Canada. And I'm not complaining. I hate snow. <laughs> I mean, sorry, I don't hate it. I just don't miss it. I don't miss shoveling. I don't miss breaking the ice from car windshields and going to work in school in like knee deep of snow. Ugh, slushiness in my boots. <laughs> Going home from the bar at 3 a.m. and freezing my butt off at the bus station. I don't miss that. Chris, happy birthday. Thank you. Yes. But I think we're celebrating more than my birthday. Okay, wait, we're allowed to, yeah, we're allowed yeah, to we say might as well. Oh my gosh, guys. What is it that we're celebrating? I guys, I wasn't sure if we were allowed to say, but Chris proposed to Elodia. Today! You guys heard it on my channel. Yes, there's Ashley. There's Ashley. Oh my gosh, look at that rock. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. I caught a rare Pokemon. <laughs> super oh, it's rare, like super you. shiny, super rare. I don't know how I did it, honestly. We are so happy for you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Honestly, thank you. seriously, thank, thank you. you. I really appreciate We're it. We're like so honored to call you guys friends and couldn't be more, couldn't be a better couple, right? Thank you for the support always. You're welcome. Yay. Thank you. OMG guys. They're doing a video of the proposal.
Can you believe this was edited today? Same day edit, guys. Oh my gosh, of the proposal. <gasps> Yay. Wow. I'm sure this will be online. You guys could see it. But we are the first in the world to see it. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy for them. I think like friends and family were there. Oh, beautiful. That's awesome. Oh, by the way, these, look at how many people are here. How cute. This is amazing. OMG, guys, the edits on the same day edit are awesome. What's up, my boy squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? Guys, this room is freezing. This air conditioning was running all night at 22 degrees and it is freezing. I need to, this is one powerful air conditioning. Burr, this room is freezing. Okay, let's warm up guys and have some coffee. But first, I need to show you this view. So guys, remember when I was vlogging at the condo every single day and um, I would show you the view, uh, the beautiful view of Mandaluyong? Well, now is the view. Oh no, it's, <laughs> it's con condensation. Later on, it'll probably evaporate. Oh, wait, hold on. We can, we can see the view here. I love these windows. There, you see that view? <laughs> okay, maybe not. Maybe we just have to really be patient. I'm sorry. Anyways, oh there, there we go. See that beautiful view? Concrete jungle is nice too, but nature is just awesome. Okay, seriously, you saw in yesterday's vlog, they finally installed the curtains and they steamed it so it looks nice and proper. See that guys? All right. All right, let's warm up and make some coffee. Yes. Guys, I love that now I don't need to wait for our like boiler to boil water. It just comes out of this awesome machine. Love, love, love this so much. Coffee for life. So guys, yesterday was such a beautiful evening. RJ and I were expecting just to go to a birthday party and hang out with our friends. Um, but turns out it was also a party to celebrate the engagement. It was so beautiful. OMG, I'm sure the video is gonna be online at some point. You guys gotta see it. I am so happy for Alodia and for Chris. Um, of course, RJ and I have known Alodia uh, for many years. Um, first of all, we were fans, like my family and I were fans back when I was living in Canada. And then when we finally met each other in New York for a project for Netflix that we did together, I was just like, can there be a girl that is more perfect? <laughs> she's smart, she's gorgeous, she's talented, she's so nice. She's like RJ, huge heart, like loves to do like um, charity. Uh, she once did an Apple Drive project birthday because her and RJ have the same birthday. But yeah, um, I'm just so happy for them. It was such a beautiful engagement and I just wish them both well. Mm -hmm. um, what I love... Oh, I get to use the Le Creuset mug. Okay, no, I don't want to use it. I want to keep it pristine. Let's use this. I'm kind of amazing <laughs> Canadian mug. Um, RJ and I are really lucky to uh, have some really good friends. I, I used to always say to people, RJ and I don't have a lot of friends. We keep our friend circle small. Actually, we do. We've 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 been able to meet a lot of amazing, amazing people, and we're open to continue to meet more amazing, amazing people. Because as much as RJ and I are recluses, like. We invested in our home because we want to stay home. Um, I mean, unless we're traveling. Yeah, oh yeah, even though we are recluses, human beings are by nature social animals. So, you know, it's also good to go out and like interact and, you know, even meet new people. Met a lot of new friends yesterday, which was really cool. Ah, cheers! How about you guys? Are you social butterflies or are you recluses? Me, I can, I, I'm both. 
I, I, I have my days when I love to go out and then days when I just want to like retreat. I mean, look, we built a home within a home. <laughs> Anyways, like this master bedroom is kind of like a home in itself in case we don't want to go out there. Yeah. Uh, anyways, this coffee is really good. Let's have some coffee guys together. And also so funny about <laughs> Alodia and Chris. So after filming the vlog yesterday, right, they announced on our vlog, I was surprised because RJ and I actually arrived and then we learned about the proposal. So I'm like, OMG, like they obviously hadn't made it public yet. And I was like, okay, Alodia, Chris, you just announced in my vlog that you guys are engaged, but my vlog is like almost daily. And I was like, but don't worry, I could just delay our vlog until you guys go public. And they're like, okay, so when do you normally upload? I'm like, don't adjust to me. <laughs> they were gonna, they were gonna wait till our vlog was gonna go up, you know, and that was when they were gonna make it public. I'm like, you tell me when you guys are ready to make it public and then I will make our vlog public. You know what I'm saying? So that was funny. Um, and turns out they're, they're going to go public today. Ah, I'm so, I'm so happy for them. Um, and so our vlog, Mabu High Squad, can also go up tonight. All right guys, so here in the walk-in closet bathroom, please excuse the mess down there. And look what I saw, this beautiful beam of light. Okay, it's kind of fading now, but literally a couple of seconds ago, here it comes. It was this beautiful golden beam of light coming from there. I guess in the mornings, the light just shines through here. I don't know, I'm just obsessed with light, guys. It looks so nice. Anyway, I wanted to show you this. A hairy Asian! <gasps> Mabuhai squad, I have goose Bumps. Okay, so let me explain. Oh, my goosebumps, guys. Ooh, I got some dust on my arm. Ooh. But guys, what is under here? Oh, I'm like reverberating. <gasps> they unboxed it. Okay, so this piece of furniture is not going to be here. This isn't its permanent place. Its permanent place is actually out there. Um, like in the hallway, like right when you come up on the stairs. That's where we plan on putting this furniture piece. Now this furniture piece, guys, is pretty major. It's by a furniture designer based here in the Philippines, but world award winning. None other than the only Kenneth Kobenpoi. So this here is a Kenneth Kobenpoi furniture piece. This is one of the many Kenneth Kobenpoi pieces we ordered. It's called Bloom. Are you ready? Oh my gosh, check it out. Oh ho ho! Oh ho! Oh! Oh, it is so beautiful in real life! Uh, oh, we gotta unwrap. Well, we'll keep that wrapped. This we can put back on. Oh my gosh, guys, do you like it? Isn't it beautiful? Our entire house, right? It's full of grays, charcoal gray, white, right? Because, you know, it's the spirit of our late African gray parrot, Ligaya, who was actually supposed to live with us here in the Mabuhai Squad farmhouse. Um, but sadly, she died during the pandemic and she was our child. And the whole reason we actually went out to buy a farm property because we felt like she needed more space than my condo. Um, but she's still alive in our hearts and in this house because the certain colors and the design are like colors of her body, right? White, grays, black of her tail and wings. And there's lots of bird symbolism in our house. Like we've got this, you guys actually said this looks like a nest and it's true, it does look like a nest. That design of our front door is like an egg. And guys, this, we needed something red to represent her tail um, in our house. So we got this. Isn't it beautiful? Kenneth Kobonpoe, Bloom, it's called. Isn't it so gorge? Oh my gosh, and you know what? It is one of the most comfortable chair slash, slash stools I've ever sat in. It looks like a flower, obviously, and that's why it's called Bloom. Oh my gosh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, it is so good. 
Kenneth Kobunpue and actually a lot of furniture designers here in the Philippines are based in Cebu, which is another island. And we've also ordered a few other pieces from Kenneth and from other very well-known and award-winning uh, furniture designers here in the Philippines. Did you guys know that Philippines creates some of the most amazing furniture worldwide? Like celebrities and Hollywood stars have Filipino furniture in their mansions. It's just the craftsmanship here in the Philippines is really, really good. Um, and RJ and I wanted to support local furniture designers, so we bought like several things. Um, including this, the bloom chair. <gasps> Guys, it is so comfortable. It looks good here, right? RJ's saying it looks good. What? Shall we just really keep it here? Oh, guys, he's considering just keeping it here. I mean, so then what are we gonna put where this was supposed to be? Something else? Yeah, we'll think about it. It does kind of look good here. And I mean, it's a swiveling chair, so like, we can look out the window and see the view. But as I explained in the last vlog, this spot was actually supposed to be for a table, right? We were gonna put a table and two chairs here so we could like eat breakfast or whatnot or lunch or dinner here if we needed with a nice view. Um, but yeah, hey, we'll think about it. Maybe we'll keep it here. Um, you guys saw this, right? This is Cartel, uh, another very well-known furniture designer, but an Italian. Uh, furniture designer Milan Italy um, and it's gorgeous guys it's shaped like a wine glass during this house building process RJ and I have become fans of furniture art and furniture design interior design we really like for three years just spent time going through photos online Pinterest photos um, magazine like architectural digest magazine things like that to kind of like learn and season our eyes as to you know what's trending what looks good because before this guys i was like so dumb with interior design i couldn't tell what looked good and what didn't look good uh, but yeah like it's been three or four years of browsing through photos and deciding what rj and i like um, and collaborating with our interior designer kathy c king mm -hmm, who you guys have seen in the vlogs um to create you know, the design of our dream home. And I'm so happy with this purchase. Guys, wait till you see the other Kenneth Coburn Poi pieces that are coming in, as well as the other Filipino designer pieces that are in storage now and coming in soon. See, more boxes. We got more Kenneth here. This here is another furniture piece that's going in the anteroom. More boxes, more furniture boxes. We actually had to move these boxes out of the area that they were being stored because the workers are working on those areas right now. Working on finishing those areas. Finally, oh, more furniture, more furniture. All right, that's cool. So our idea for the bloom chair, guys, was to put it right here so that anyone, myself or our guests, could sit here and watch the birds if they wanted to, or they could swivel and see that view. Because um, we are having a another surprise feature piece that will be hanging here. All right, guys, see what I mean by light? This is our aviary, right? And in the morning, the light spills in this way. Um, towards evening, it spills that way. Love it. It's like. This aviary in the center of the home is pretty much like one giant skylight. It just lights everything so well. Nothing beats natural light. <gasps> oh my gulai, guys. <gasps> wow, do you guys see what I see right now? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys, look. Oh my, that looks stunning. That looks awesome. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, so you guys saw these carvings, right? They came to us from Paete. We went to the town of Paete, Laguna, where the whole town is known for its wood carvings and the wood artists, the wood carvers who create statues, art, um, sculptures all of that so we went there 
Um, that town we found was, you know, really hit hard by the pandemic. They weren't getting business. Um, and RJ and I wanted to avail of their amazing craftsmanship, as you guys can see. And um, we had them make these giant, like, wood hand carvings. It goes all the way to the top. And look, guys. Oh my gosh. Look at it. They've installed it. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, it's against the light, so we can't see it as much, but... Oh, okay, so it's on all four. Oh, that changes things. Oh, and with it on now, these pillars look big. It somehow makes it look big. And we found that when we added the wooden carvings in the master bedroom, which you guys saw, it also made the foundational pillars look bigger. Somehow, it's like a cool optical illusion, but wow! Oh my god, babe. it looks awesome! Super cool! That changes everything. So they've varnished each wooden panel, and they've stuck it on, and it basically adds, you know, like a more Asian touch to the design of the home. Something giving it a little more organic feel, because this is a farmhouse still. Um, the theme we went with in the entire home is modern Asian lux. And so this helps us stay true to the Asian touch, right? And guys, the artists did an amazing job. This is super cool. I love it. Ooh, guys, look, they've created the modular cabinets here. Um, I believe they will be making another one over here. Down there on that side. And this is that wall installation I kept teasing you guys about. I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet. I'll let you guys guess. But as a clue, these things turn. Kind of like Wheel of Fortune. Ding! Ding! Vanna White styles, you know what I'm saying? OMG, 80s reference. So these spots where those wires are sticking out mark where we are going to put decorative lights. We bought special beautiful, beautiful lights for these areas. And it'll really, really look cool when it's all done. Guys, it is looking super cool now. So guys, um, I've got some news about the birds for this aviary. Mm, how should I put it? They're coming next week. Ah! Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have a cage for them. They're going to arrive on this island in the Philippines, on Luz in Luzon, from another island in the Philippines. Um, and we have to pick them up. And they're gonna have to live in the cage for now um, until the top of this is completely sealed. In my mind, I'm just gonna place the cage in here so that they become familiar with the surroundings. Um, all of that and the cage will be big enough for these birds and oh my gosh I have all my products already and I can't wait so Mabuhai squad our birds are coming finally OMG they arrive I believe they land on the 27th of July so guys birds are finally coming back to our lives this um, aviary is pretty much done like all the dirty work is done so everything has been completed they just need to add that roof which is a pretty easy job they just need to add mesh and then they also have to grout these tiles so that's gonna be a priority grouting these tiles um, this week so that this entire space will be ready for the birds mm-hmm they're also going to paint see how it's red up there those red old those beams, those metal beams, they're gonna paint that as well. Um, that's gonna be done this week. So that <clears throat> all dirty work of that sort is done. Oh my gosh, the birds are coming. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. How I'm going to decorate the inside of the aviary, not sure yet. I might just keep it super simple right now um, while I'm kind of working on establishing my relationship with the birds. I don't want this to be lavishly decorated and the birds will like run away from me and I'll never get a chance to like 
you know, prove myself to these birds that, hey, I'm a friend, come fly down, please. So I might just keep things really basic. What do you guys think, all you bird owners out there? What's cool is, now that RJ and I have had experience with caring for the Gaia, we know now what to expect. And it's not going to be, this time it won't, it'll be a bit different because one, these birds are winged, um, so they're eating solids. We're not feeding them from a syringe. They're not like helpless and featherless and depending on us like the Gaia was. And there's three of them instead of one, which was a little hard having one because it's like a baby, guys. You know what I mean? Like you, you can't, you can't just leave it for extended periods of time. Um, but now that there are three birds, oh, oh, oh my gosh! I told you how many are coming. Okay. Oops. I reveal. Um, yeah. Okay, guys. Three birds are coming because there are three of them. They can bond with each other. They can bond with me. Um, don't worry. Just because they're they have each other to bond with, it doesn't mean they can't bond with a human being. But yeah, guys, three are coming. Oh my gosh, guys! Look, they finished. Yay! They finished the uh, pantry drawers and cabinets. That looks awesome. What do you guys think? And then up here too. Sweet, love it. Love the gold handles. Gold is everything as RG says. Um, and then there's going to be more up there, but yay, it's done. And it looks so cool, love it. And guys, the workers are also finalizing the office. Cabinets, all that cabinet work, all the modular work should be done soon. Yay! OMG, guys. So, ongoing work, as you can see um, in the master bedroom. Also, why we can't move in there yet. Um, but I mean, the progress, guys, right? Day by day, things are looking better and better and more and more complete. Um, and so, Thank you so much for joining us for today's vlog. Love you guys so much. Um, hope you enjoyed today's vlog. And if you did, be sure to hit the like button as that would really help RJ and I a lot. We would really appreciate it. And leave a comment, say hi, let yourself know, and hit that subscribe button to join our Mabu High Squad. We love new Mabu High Squad members joining our family. We will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. This is an ongoing adventure, guys, and we appreciate all the support. We appreciate you guys being part of this journey with RJ and I. It's been a long four-year journey, and it's real now, guys. Like, you can touch it. It's real. I love that. Everything is starting to become real. It went from just a concept to reality now. I mean, just looking at everything, it's really unbelievable and a true dream come true. Thank you guys for supporting us and for being part of this with us. We love you so much. We will see you in the next vlog. Bye, Mabu High Squad. New adventures coming. Bye.